Delegates, my name is Sean Otto. You might know me by my better half, our state auditor, Rebecca Otto. Four years ago, Rebecca wanted, for her demonstration period, our son's band, Radium, to play. They were all 14 and 15 at the time. They're a little bit older now, but back by popular demand. We've got Radium again. If you like what they do, wave your signs. You ready? Ready. Hold on a second. Test one, two, one, two, test. Check. Momentary technical difficulty. So, does anybody know any good jokes? The what? All right, um, we're having some technical difficulties, so I'm just going to tell a little joke here. Does anybody know why one side of the V in a flock of birds is longer than the other side? Because the other side has more birds in it. All right, let's do something. Share the night, it goes on 
question. So these kids are in college now except for one. Um, Jake Otto, Hamlin University. That's my son. <laughs> Charlie, UMD. Woohoo, the bassist. We have Dan Nelson, Bemidji State. We have Freddie, who just graduated from Bemidji State. Woohoo! And we have Brandon Weigel, Iowa State. <laughs> Sorry, we love you, Brandon. So, <laughs> thank you, Radium. You know, I'm Rebecca Otto, the Minnesota State Auditor. I am so excited to be here with all of you today and all of your energy. Are we ready to go? Yeah. Yes! I, um, you know, they sing about don't stop believing. We're not going to stop believing. I'm not going to stop believing in an incredible, better Minnesota for everybody in this state, no matter where you live. Now, I'm here today to ask for your endorsement for state auditor. I work every day, thank you. <laughs> I work every day to make sure that Minnesotans can trust their government. Because when we trust our government, we support our government. Government does very important things for us we can't do on our own. It does it for us collectively. Streets and highways, public safety, and things we rely on to make our lives work. To ensure trust in government, we need accountable, transparent, efficient, effective government. And we like that in Minnesota, right? We love it. Now, I'm going to go back just briefly about eight years ago, before I was the state auditor. The former state auditor was very partisan in that office. And it was a real disservice to the taxpayers of Minnesota. And she actually inserted partisan language and partisan rhetoric in very important annual financial reports on local government finances. You endorsed me eight years ago. I got elected, and I cleaned that up. So today we have nonpartisan, fair, straightforward annual finance reports on over $20 billion spent by our local governments. So we've achieved greater transparency. Now, we all love efficient, effective government, and especially in delivery of services. As your state auditor, I have been able to work with volunteer firefighters from around the state to support all of our volunteer system, which is very efficient, and we've overhauled the laws that hadn't been touched in 30 years to make sure that we can keep the system that we have, because we are all about efficiency in the state of Minnesota. I've had the pleasure of working with the law enforcement community. We have over 800 law enforcement agencies in helping them be the best stewards and making sure that they have the best policies and procedures to protect their property and evidence rooms after the Metro Gang Strike Force debacle. So I work with them and, and we work to make sure that we have good government in the state so we can trust our government. I identified steps to best practices for our local governments when investing in reducing their energy costs, whether it be a lighting retrofit or building a LEED certified building. We not only reduced energy costs in our state, we reduced our carbon footprint for all of us. As your state auditor, you can always count on me to do my job without fear or favor and to always be there to represent the best interests of all taxpayers. I'm Rebecca Otto and I humbly ask for your support. I'd like to, uh, first of all, make an announcement. Let me, let me just give the announcement. Shh. Okay, delegations, since we, are, we need to have maximum strength voting, I want to remind uh, folks to work with the credentials folks. Uh, we have the chair of the credentials committee here. We still have alternates waiting to be upgraded. So this is an instruction to the CD, uh, CD chairs to work with your delegation co-chairs to make sure that we are maximum strength on the floor. We have a lot of missing or seats that are empty. And so what we would like you to do, if your delegation is not at maximum strength, 
or you don't have you have missing folks please see the delegation or the, the credentials committee chair they'll be back here and then you can work with our credentials folks to upgrade the alternates all right now the delegated microphone number two hello is it on uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Frank Kornstein, CD5. I would move that we endorse uh, Rebecca Otto, State Auditor Otto, by acclamation. Is there a second? Do I have a second? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. All right, now we need a vote on, we need a vote for acclamation. So all those in favor of Rebecca Otto, or State Auditor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. The ayes have it. Rebecca Otto for State Auditor. Okay, everyone said please be brief. First, I want to thank you for your confidence in my work as the state auditor, and I'll work really hard for you until November to make sure I get back, okay? Second, I have a few people that I really want to thank today. I want to thank my labor friends. I want to thank <laughs> all, the te all the teachers that work with our children every day in the classroom to make sure these kids d discover what their gifts are and to help them reach their full potential. Thank you. I want to thank the people who work in government, who work to keep us safe every day. These folks go into burning buildings to save us when we run away. Most of us run, these people run in buildings. I want to thank the people that go into dangerous situations, law enforcement, to keep us safe in our homes, our neighborhoods, on our roads. I want to thank the people that keep us moving, they're also labor folks, who build and rebuild our roads and our bridges and our highways. And I want to thank the people that keep us moving in public transportation. They, dri they drive those buses. They keep the light rail running. They run the trains. Thank you. It keeps our economy clicking, and we need those people. I want to thank all the people that provide care to our loved ones when they're sick, they're injured, maybe they're at the end of life, and they spend time to make that person's time the best it can be. Thank you. It's a hard job, and I know you put in really long hours. I want to thank all the public employees who are represented by unions. Minnesota has a legacy of good government, and it didn't happen by accident. You know, you folks sometimes do thankless work delivering services to the public. And sometimes you get blamed for service cuts that are not in your control. But you do the very best that you can. And sometimes potholes, the cities don't always have the money they need to fill the potholes. And it's the local government employees who may get yelled at. And I'm sorry. But I want to thank you. I've met so many people working in local and state government who are very dedicated public workers. Thank you. I want to thank the farmers who grow our food and provide us sustenance. Your work isn't so easy either. <laughs> thank you, farmers. And I want to thank the small business folks, too, who provide jobs throughout our state and make our communities vibrant. Thank you. Now, I'll, I'm going to pose one thing to you for one moment. We have a choice delegates, we can go backwards and revert back to the no new taxes, government shutdown, shift the state budget deficit onto property tax mode, or we can move forward and we can make sure that we continue to make Minnesota the greatest state in the nation. Thank you very much for your support. 